the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, touch them up. Good luck, Sparte. Go for the ring. Now the bell rings. Is it round one or round 37? Pacquiao starts off with a straight left hand, fires two jabs, neither fighter has landed yet. He can freeze him. He can Does he have the fire in his fist? You see Marquez throwing Marquez touching Pacquiao with the right. And as Marquez yeah, so many times. Like that with the face. Left by Pacquiao, Marquez with the left hook. Very much like their first fight. Energetic. It's clear during the introductions, and now they're chanting Marquez, Marquez. Okay. Tries to get to Pacquiao's body again. Good left hand by Pacquiao inside. Dance. Not doing. Six by copy box count. Marquez only. I asked him what was the one characteristic that allowed him to give Pacquiao. Who is a great offensive fighter. Two and good body shots by Marquez. Happy Ellis. He's a really smart fighter. He's always thinking in this. Marquez up. Oh, Another the fight at ringside. Remember his head movement earlier. And so far, um, he's agreeing less. He's doing. Oh, uh, he is actually. First round of the first fight that knocked it. Uh, well, for the first two and a half rounds. Another straight left hand down the pipe lands for Pacquiao. First time in 39 rounds that Juan Manuel Marquez has been able to put Manny Pacquiao down, and he did it with his signature right hand over the defensive alone. You already know that. Just like Pacquiao was using face to hold him, he used the body. A fight breaks out in Vegas at the end of round three. Manny Pacquiao was knocked down by Ron Manuel Marquez. He tried to retaliate, but Marquez... ...the body again and come right over the top with the overhand right instead of the body shot or the straight right to the body. Caught Pacquiao as clean as he's ever going to catch him. The dramatic statement that Marquez has made... In, in the second round of their second fight. Oh, he was fully physically and psychologically recovered after. Pacquiao is doing some really, really good head movement. Good, right, good. good combination by Pacquiao. Uppercut is in the game. That's what I was just about to say. That's what be for sure. So why not try it against him? Guess good right hook by Pacquiao. Another good right hook by Pacquiao. Great right hand by Marquez. They trade shots again. Once again, Pacquiao is sitting down on his punches, and Pacquiao is giving him some feints, and Marquez right there. And there goes the knockdown. Marquez Manny Pacquiao evens up the knockdown oh, count as he puts five, Marquez on the canvas, six, or at least forces seven, him to touch his glove to the canvas to score the knockdown in round five. Now uh, let's see if Marquez tries to retaliate down the stretch of this round. Oh, there are just so many left hands in the face, and that's how Pacquiao caught Oh! Huge right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao was able to stand up. blood-curdling war so far. I mean, they promised toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but... Like that. One step back and we bang it. Good body. Good now, after knocking Marquez down, his job is to get out of the round. Oh, Marquez, Marquez is being for retaliation. Marquez is hurt bad. All right, Marquez hand. is hurt Marquez bad. Marquez is Peter Wobbling. Marquez He's is hurt trouble. bad. Pacquiao attacks. He may think he has him. But Marquez is hurt bad. Marquez still wobbling as Pacquiao drives him into the corner. And Marquez won't hold. Doesn't have his legs back hold. yet. Marquez still wobbling. Fighting almost as though he's injured a leg. But he is fighting back. Boy, five years ago, we didn't know that Marquez had that in him. But he is fighting back from some really killer shots. What a round. What a round. He 
You see uh, Pacquiao lay that straight left right down the pipe and down goes Marquez with his gloves touched, but that's considered a knockdown. There, that's that straight right hand again mm -hmm. and left hand again and down goes Marquez. You see the gloves touch the floor right there cleanly and knock down. Later in the fight, you see a left hand followed by a right hook, which he said he's going to use this time. And that right hook it wouldn't surprise me if Marquez's nose had swollen. These are big shots Pacquiao's been landing early. And there's another left hand and another left hand. The drama king has created more drama, brought us the blood of drama, and brought out the battler. Marquez's Marquez. mouthpiece is out of it. That was something else. Okay. Well, I hope it wasn't a Vaseline. I hope it wasn't a... Another left hand for Pacquiao. Yeah. Next time, that lands right on the butt. Long distance. That was the one that knocked him down. I don't think that'll happen again. Fake, or he's going to stay behind. And it looks... It looks Pacquiao lands another nose. straight left hand shot. And another. Oh, no, 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 no. Two champions performing like champ. Marquez doesn't really realize how close Pacquiao has gotten to him. Marquez was off balance again. Now gets his feet back and tries to roar back to nail Pacquiao with the right hand. Oh! That's another knockdown. He's not getting Will up, Jim. He get up? He's not Will getting he up, Jim. Get he's not getting up. No, he's been knocked out. A sensational right hand knocked out by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And that is the keystone moment of his career. Manny Pacquiao is still face down. And it may mean a fifth fight between Marquez and Pacquiao. Wobbly from hard left hand shots for Manny Pacquiao. He scores a colossal right hand to knock Pacquiao cold. And we have to ask, Will Manny Pacquiao watch Pacquiao as he comes. Marquez steps back when he's coming, and here comes Marquez following with the overhand right. You see that? Pacquiao Bam, missed right the right the hand. He knew he was coming. He just caught his rhythm because that's what has caused him, has enabled him to cause Pacquiao so many problems. The overhand shot, though, the looping shots, are when I told you that the weightlifting would help. Here you see this is a looping shot. So that's the shot, bam, right on the button that the weightlifting definitely will help you with. That's the hardest and most dramatic shot we've seen in the sport since Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams on November 20, 2010 in Atlantic City with a very similar shot. And Martinez is sitting about eight feet away. And it's 59 seconds of round number five. The winner by knockout victory, Thomas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico. Dinamita Marquez! Coming into this fight, did you feel that he was vulnerable to the right hand that knocked him down? No, we needed to work those points, but I always said that the change in the rhythm was going to be important. He came out. He came out. Two fight. Thank you. My man, he came out very aggressive. So did you sense immediately? I just have to be patient and counter him. We knew he was going to come out aggressive, so we needed to do a fight plan that was going to be more technique, and that was what was happening. And then we were able to capitalize on it. When, when you knocked him down the first time. Did you say to yourself, okay, this is a different now. Now, I am the stronger guy in the ring. Yes, we knew we fought it his way. We knew it was going to be a very difficult fight, but it wasn't impossible to win. But you were hurt very badly, or at least you were bleeding very badly. Did, did, did you sense you had to do something desperate and dramatic at that point? We had to use our technique and our skill, and it was very important that we wouldn't allow Manny to connect as he had usually done. When you went down from a straight left hand, did you feel that was, I did something not right, something happened here. Yes, it was an error. We brought my hand down, and that was an error, but after that, we corrected it, and everything went well.
We asked you before the fight whether you thought all of your new muscles would make a difference in this fight. Did the muscles make a difference? No, I don't think so. We work strength, we work speed, and I think you can see the good results. Do you want or expect a fifth fight with, a man, with Manny? We'll relax, we'll talk with the family, and we'll see what comes. Thank you for a great fight. Arriba Mexico! Arriba Mexico! Thanks, Manny. Again, again. You are a great fighter. Thank you. Great fighter. Thank you, Mr. We love you. You are a great boxer, Manny. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Manny, after you suffered the first the knockdown earlier in the fight, you seem to be taking control. Get out of my shot! Did you get careless? Did you, or did you just think, well, now I have him? Yes, I get uh, careless on that, uh, on that uh, round because uh, I think I, I got him, but, uh, you know, it's not good. Because he was so bloodied from your punches, you felt that that was the time to finish him? Yes, yes. I'm so uh, careless for, for the fight. That's, that's part and, of the and fight. And so you got hit with a punch that you never saw, and you were out for a long time before you even knew it. Exactly. Um, I didn't see his pants, and um, I'm, I'm so overconfident that I thought I, I got him. We have never seen you go down like that um, since your career in America, since you became uh, such a world force. Take a look here and tell us of what you can see. I assume you have not seen this yet. Yes, I, I, I'm taking it easy because um, I thought I, I got him, but, uh, you know. So did it surprise you that despite the fact that you had knocked him down and despite the fact that you were so bloody, that he came back at you with such force? Exactly. He's um, it's not an easy opponent. He's a tough boxer. So, um, Marcus, I respect Marcus. You know, um, it's not that easy fight it to easy to beat. Um, I did uh, I did my best, but uh, you know uh, that's uh, that's boxing, that's sports. Did you get too aggressive in trying to show that you really did win the earlier fights? No, I'm, I, I thought I, I got him in the uh, last couple of rounds, and uh, but I started to uh, overconfident, but. Uh, when I when I hit his pants, I, I got I got I got hit a, a, a strong um, a solid pants. He's hit you before. Was he stronger when he hit you, or was it just that he hit you with punches you just never saw coming? I just um, uh, didn't see the, his punches that uh, I didn't I, ex I never expect that um, that punches. I know it's rather soon after you have been knocked out for the first time in a very, very long time. But you have another full-time career back home as a congressman. Do you want to fight again? Do you want to fight him again? Yes, um, why not? Um, it's, it's, it's a good fight. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm starting, I'm just starting very confident um, on, on that uh, fight because uh, I thought I'm, I'm, I got him. So you're saying to us that you want to see a fifth fight with Marquez. <laughs> well, uh, if um, uh, they give, give us a chance, uh, we'll fight again. Thank you. Thank you, sir.